All right, everybody, it's that time. Can everybody hear us okay? We just want to make sure. We make sure up here, I have to come back up to our camera. Put a thumbs up if you can hear me right now. Anybody, anybody? Oh, we got one, perfect, thank you. <laughs> All right, so everybody should be able to hear us, hopefully. All right, so this morning, I'm gonna introduce you to who you're meeting with. So I'm Miss Heather, and I'm the Columbia County 4-H agent, and I work right here where you live. This is Miss Paula, and, and I am, my name is Miss Paula Tomlinson, and I am the Livestock and Natural Resources agent. And I'm here to help you out with learning maybe a little bit about some of our natural resources. So we also have another special guest. And I know all of you kids are super excited about seeing it. You might, be, you might have seen him before. It might have been a little while. But he's right here in this building. He showed up just a couple of minutes ago. Miss Paulette, you think they're ready? I don't know. You guys all ready? Maybe. I'll go get him. All right. Thank you, Miss Paulette. Give us just a second. He's on his way. Everybody cheer. Woo! Here. We're so glad you were able to join us, Bellamy. So, whoop, we changed direction. Oh, I'm having issues. Hold on. You got to be able to forward. All right. Maybe my clicker will start working in just a second, but just a couple of little things. And one thing we want you to know is where the mute and unmute is. It's on the bottom of the Zoom. And on the bottom of the Zoom, we're gonna have Bellamy step over just a smidgen. <laughs> on the bottom of the Zoom, you'll see something that says mute or unmute. And so later on, we wanna hear all of the kids at least. Um, if you wanna turn on the camera, we can definitely do that at some point as well. All right, yay, it's working. So just so everybody knows, you are being recorded so we can share with other classes and don't end up being able to make these Zooms this morning. So you're in Bellamy's classroom. He came, he's joined a 4-H, and we're gonna tell you some more about that in just a second, but we do have Bellamy. And that's what we're doing today is we're gonna introduce you to 4-H and you should have an activity book. And so that's some of the small little things we're doing today. All right, so next we got a video. And in our video, we've got a couple of little things we want you to pay attention to. And in that video, the questions we've got is, what does the word Inchitutney mean? We've got another one. What do we call somebody who takes care of things and uses them wisely? The next one is, are farmers good stewards? And then the last one is, do you want to be a good steward? So Ms. Paulette's going to share a video, and that way you can see it on your screen. She's going to make sure you got the sound and all that good stuff. So bear with us. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Rachel Daugherty, and this is Bellamy Beaver. I am a Columbia County 4-H'er. We're here to tell you about Bellamy's home, the Itch Tutney River. And one of our favorite places to visit in the Suwannee County River Basin. We recently joined a 4-H club here in Columbia County. At our very first club meeting, our 4-H club leader told us about using our head, heart, hands, and health to take care of springs and rivers. We learned that long ago, Native Americans lived near the banks of the river and that Ishitakni is a Native American word meaning beaver pond. We also learned that Florida's first highway was built near Ishitakni Springs and was called the Bellamy Road or Bellamy Trail. Bellamy was so excited that he, this must be where his name comes from. Our 4-H club leader taught us that being a good steward is important to make sure Bellamy's home stays one of the cleanest and prettiest springs in all of Florida. A steward is someone who uses their heart to take care of others and things, and someone who uses things wisely. We've learned that if you use your head to throw away trash properly, you are a good steward. If you use your hands to do things to help protect our water, you are also a good steward. 
We were told that farmers are good stewards because they take care of on land where they produce the things we eat every day. They were also be a good steward by helping to keep our water clean. Our forage career also taught us that we can take care of our health by eating nutritious food and drinking lots of clean, good water. Another thing our forage leader mentioned is how there are so many people in the Suwannee River Basin that are working together to make sure that the springs stay beautiful and clean. These people all work together with the Itch Tutney Partnership or the TIP and they include Santa Fe Soil and Water Management, Suwannee River Water Management District, the City of Lake City Chamber of Commerce, and UF IFAS Extension, Columbia County. As you go through the activities with Bellamy, we will be sharing with you what we've learned from our 4-H club about Bellamy's home. Now let's get started. We can't wait to share with you what we've learned. Okay. So the first question we had was, what does the word Itchitutney mean? Bellamy, what do you think it means? Do you think it means a beaver pond? Yeah, that's exactly right. So if you guess beaver pond, you got that question right. The next one was, what do we call someone who takes care of things or uses them wisely? Hmm, Bellamy, can you think of that? No? Okay, so it's a steward. So a steward is somebody that uses things wisely and really takes care of them. Now, Bellamy, do you think, are farmers good stewards? Absolutely, right? Now, Bellamy, do you want to be a good steward? Yeah, woo! Exactly. All right. So Bellamy, in that video, we learned that you joined 4-H, right? Yeah, absolutely. So 4-H is one of the largest youth development organizations in the nation. And 4-H is right here in Columbia County. There's a whole lot of kids across the nation that are involved in 4-H, right, Bellamy? You've got lots of club members that you meet with too. Yeah, and there are lots of students right here in Columbia County and all across the state of Florida that are members of 4-H. In 4-H, there are three things that we actually focus on. And we focus on science, healthy living, and citizenship. So yay, we do all of that stuff in 4-H. All right, so we've got another video coming up. We got two things we want you to pay attention to in that video. You guys ready for that maybe? Bellamy, are you ready to look for some things? Yes. All right, so we're gonna get you to tell us what animals you see, and then we're gonna get you to see what you see 4 Rangers doing. So pay really close attention in this video whenever we go to share it, okay? Bear with us for just a second. It began with the seed of an idea. In 1902, the heartland needed folks to embrace new advances in agriculture, but leaders with open minds, strong hearts, and willing hands weren't in abundance. Luckily, kids were. By empowering the next generation to lead, 4-H took root and grew and grew and grew. Grew kids who are confident and strong, who are curious enough to question, and capable enough to find the answer. You stick to a job until the job gets done. You know how to work with others and how to lead. 4-H has kept right on growing. Out of the farms and into the towns, from the suburbs to the cities. Anywhere curiosity roams, then confidence thrives. Anywhere technology can be advanced, and achievement is valued. Anywhere positive change is possible, and giving back moves entire communities forward. When you think about it, it makes sense that we began with farming. After all, true leaders aren't born. They're grown.
All right. So, how to bring my notes with me, and maybe Bellamy can help me and remember what animals we saw in that video. So if you're in the classroom, I want you to tell your teacher. And if you guys want to maybe have them raise hands, you're welcome to do that. But let's see, can anybody put in the chat maybe and tell us some of the animals they saw? Can any of the teachers do that for us? Give us some of the answers. We'll give you just a second and let you guys throw in in the chat. Oh, I see one answer. What is it, Ms. Paulette? A rabbit. A rabbit, yay! A horse. Horse, yes, there were definitely horses on there. Shout out to uh, Mrs. Smith's class, Mrs. Cruz's class. Oh, anybody oh, else? Rodriguez, they got sheep. Sheep, perfect. Yes, there were definitely sheep on there. Cow. Cows. And I think that might be all. Oh, oh, is there another one? A goat? Yes, goat. We missed that, Miss Paulette. All right, good job, guys. You really paid attention. Oh, a donkey. They a donkey, yes, mule. we did have a mule. Yes. Great job, guys. All right, one so let's more. one more. There was. Nobody's got it yet. Uh oh. What was it? it was a horse. I missed it. A what? A horse. I thought you said a horse. A horse. Did I? Maybe. Either way, you guys yes. did excellent. Good job. All right. So now let's see what activities you caught that the 4 Hers were doing. So what things do you think they were doing? Let's see if you can guys can throw it in the chat. What we got, Miss Paula? Anything? Anything, yes. Oh, let's see. What were the kids doing? What did you see the 4 Hers all doing in the video? Climbing. Climbing, yes. Wall, yeah. rock climbing. That's what some of them were doing. Yes, Bellby, they were climbing those rocks. Man, don't you want to try it? Yeah. Learning. Learning. They were definitely learning. Anybody see them doing something like this? Swimming. Swimming. They were swimming. Zip lining. Zip lining, yes. Oh, man. Yeah, that'd be cool, Bellamy. Mean, wouldn't you want to do that? Let's go do that over the edge, Tuck me. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, no. <laughs> Archery. Archery, yeah. yes. They were used to bow and arrow. Bellamy, yeah. don't you want to try to shoot a bow and arrow? Yeah, that would be awesome. Painting. They were doing what? Painting. Painting, yeah. They were doing music. They were doing some dancing. Running. Running, yes. Hey, they stepped on something. Anybody ever done that in their class before? They step on something and it makes something go, whoo! Oh. <laughs> you made Bellamy fall over. They played with rockets. They were making them in their, in their club. And they did some robotics and some kicking of a ball. Anybody ever play something where you kick a ball? Any guesses? What you think? Soccer. Soccer, yes, exactly. Bellamy, have you ever played soccer before? No? Okay, we've got to get Bellamy with us to learn how to play soccer. That would be so fun. All right. And I think I've figured out what I've got to do to make my mouse clicker work. All right, guys. I say I did. <laughs> It, just doesn't like that. it doesn't like my clicker. All right, so you guys were able to watch the video. Next, because Bellamy became a member of 4-H, we want you guys to become members of 4-H with Bellamy too. So in 4-H, every day or at every club meeting, we say the 4-H pledge. Now you guys say the American pledge every morning, right? or every afternoon, at some point during your day at school, I'm sure you say the, the American Pledge. Well, today we're gonna learn about the head, heart, hands, and your health. And that's the motions that go with it. So the 4-H Pledge, it starts, your teacher should be able to, or should have possibly given you a bookmark that has it on it. If you can read, you're welcome to read the pledge. If not, we're gonna repeat after me. So, Ms. Heather's got to take a breath because we got all excited, right? <laughs> the first line is, I pledge my head to clear thinking. So, say that after me. I pledge my head to clear thinking. I pledge my heart to greater loyalty. I pledge my hands 
to larger service. And I pledge my help to better living for my, oops, hold on, let you say it. All right, for my club, my community, my country, and my world. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so if you sat down that time, we will let you stand up. So everybody stand up out of your seat. Yeah, just like Bellamy, stand up. All right, we're gonna all stand together and I'm gonna count to three, okay? You guys ready? One, two, three. I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Good job, guys. Good job, Bellamy. We're so proud of you. All right, so that head, heart, hands, and health, because Bellamy's really good at those, you can see that there's a lot of different things that we do in 4-H that covers those. So the head is all about thinking, planning, responsibility. So then your heart is about being concerned about others. Bellamy, do you like to help others? Yeah, all right, and then your hands. What do we do with our hands? We do all kinds of helpful stuff to help people. And then our health, how do you do that, Bellamy? Health. <laughs> we practice healthy living and we enjoy doing things and using our time wisely and really taking care of ourselves. So that's the four H's in 4-H. So they're your what? Your head, your heart, your hands, and your health. Good job, guys. All right. Next on our list, you should have gotten a worksheet from your teacher. And on that worksheet, it shows the great state of Florida. All right, in that Florida, or in the state of Florida, not everybody knows where we live. You may be from Lake City. You may be from Fort White. Everybody keeping up, Miss Paulette? I don't want to go too fast on you guys. Tell us if you need us to slow down. All right, so if you live in Lake City, or you live in Fort White, it doesn't matter either way, you live in Columbia County. Bellamy, are you from Columbia County? He's from Itch Tuckney, but he's still from Columbia County, exactly. So Bellamy, can you think, can you help us with drawing a star on where Columbia County is on the map? You know where it is? Oh, it's up there at the top. Okay, so everybody look at the top and draw a star. Boom, there's the star. All right, so I'm gonna give you a second. Everybody draw a star at the top. You don't have to be exact. We just want you to find a roundabout where you live at. Because, yes, you live right there in Columbia County, but there are kids down here in Miami that are in 4-H. There are kids in Pensacola, way at the very tip, that are in 4-H. There are kids in, hmm, or somewhere else, Orlando that are in 4-H. And they all get to do all kinds of fun stuff for 4-H too. Now, 4-H is a part of the University of Florida. You see the UF on my face desk. So, oh, see, Bellamy likes the Gators. So the University of Florida is who runs 4-H overall. So we do the youth development all over the great state of Florida. So where do you think University of Florida is? It's all over the state, but where's the main campus at? Tell me, where do you think? Somewhere below us? Right here, yeah. So draw an F, draw a big F, as in Florida. <laughs> right there where the University of Florida is. Now, the next thing that your map asks for is our 4-H camps. Now, every summer, Back whenever we were able to do things in person, <laughs> we skipped it last year and the year before. So we're sad, but we're hoping to get started back up. And as being a member of Rach, you can go to summer camp. Bellamy, at summer camp, we do this. What is that? Canoeing, kayaking. We go and spend all week at a camp somewhere and we do all kinds of fun stuff right there at camp along with 4-H. So there are three of those camps all over the state. 
Excuse me. And the first one is way over in the far side of the state. And Melanie, you want to look? It's over here. It's up there. Can you point with me? Yeah. So it is called Camp Tempucci. And it's actually right there on the, on the beach, more or less. Really pretty camp. Now, the next one that we go to is called Camp Cherry Lake. Now, Camp Cherry Lake is not that far. Oh, Bellamy even already knows where Cherry Lake is. Camp Cherry Lake is right there. So all you've got to do is draw a little clover if you can. Right there at Camp Cherry Lake. And our third 4-H camp is Camp Cloverly. And now that one, where do you think it's supposed to be, Bellamy? Down here somewhere, yeah. So Camp Cloverleaf is right here towards the center bottom of the state. It's a great place. All right, Bellamy, what do you think that is? That box, that square right there, where do you think that is? It's right there where we are. It's where your home is, it's where you're from. So we're gonna let Miss Paulette come over. She's gonna tell us some more. And while she's coming up, Grab your activity book on page three and she'll tell you more about it. All right. So I'm Miss Paulette, like I said before, and if you've got your activity book, and teachers go ahead and pass those out if you can. We want to make sure that uh, everybody's got one so we can take a look at page three. You can see up here. Melanie, can you point over here? So the square that Miss Heather drew on the, on the map and the one that you drew is this whole area right here. And what that includes is the Santa Fe River Basin, as well as the Suwannee River Basin. And that's where we get a lot of our water from. That's where a lot of water is at. And that is where Bellamy, that you hang out at. That's your home, right? Okay. <laughs> you, do, you swim there? Well, is that a reason maybe why we ought to make sure that we protect that area? and keep things nice and clean. And those are the things that we're gonna try and teach you as, as time goes forward with the next few months um, when we come to help you and do stuff. Yeah, see here, we're gonna come every month. We'll cover a new section in the book. There's lots of activities in the book. You can flip through it and see. And we'll cover each one of those in depth. But we're gonna cover some things like, what's a spring? Do you know what spring is, Bellamy? You do? Look for it. That's good, because they may not. Maybe they don't know, but we'll teach them, right? All right. We're going to know, we're going to talk about where our water comes from. Why is water so important to our farms? Fun things to do at the river. I'm sure some of you will have some ideas about what's fun to do at the river, because I imagine some of you have been there before. Water quality and, of course, water conservation. And so can you flip this slide again? All right. So now... We want to get everybody up out of your seats, okay? So please stand up. And what we want to do is have, Bellamy, this is your part, okay? We want you to get everybody kind of in an active moment, okay? So we want you to do your little dance, maybe do some stretching exercises, but this is moving with Bellamy. And I've got some music we're going to play for it. Good job, Bellamy, get it! Woo! 